Hello everyone, my name is Mason29 and today I am back and today we're doing another Sims full speed build of a uh, caravan micro home. Now, the Sims 4 had a sale, up to a 50% sale and so I decided why not if I basically buy some packs because I had my eye on some packs which is including uh micro this for micro house is that what's called I think it's what it's called T oh no sorry tiny living um and yeah so that's one of the things I started to do uh so we're starting off with <laughs> that made no sense um so we're starting off with um doing a micro home um, and then I think my next couple of videos of the Sims, this is my plan. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but this is the plan, is that it's going to um, be micro, tiny, and small. I think those are it, yeah. So micro we're doing, tiny next, and then small after that. Um, as well as I bought a couple of other packs, as you might see. Um, in there, there's a couple of other packs that I have, um, which we're also going. I'm also going to be planning to do videos, uh, speed builds of those too. Now, if you want to see, if you want to have this on the, if you want to download this, it's going to be on the gallery, on the name of Monkey Tom, um, basically the same as my YouTube name, but it's just one word. Um, yeah so I had an idea for this was I'm just gonna use a uh, tiny living and base game for this uh, home um, so you may see me a couple of times wanting to put a, a item in the that's not um, base game or tiny living in it but and I just got rid of it afterwards um, as an example of this bathtub I really liked it, but it wasn't base game with time living, so I couldn't have it. So, right now what I'm doing is I'm just planning, seeing what fits and stuff. I really wanted to have the kitchen at the front where you first go in, and then it's the living room, or the dining room, then at where the table and chairs are would be the bedroom. I switched around the bedroom and the chairs quite a bit. Um, and I eventually got um, kitchen, living room, which uses the Murphy bed, which is going to be the bed too, and then the dining room, which has those three windows at the back. Um, yeah, so the whole point, like my idea for this build is to have kind of like this person is kind of living off the land. So you can use a lot of other packs for this, so there's like a shed, there's a garden, um, you can also add like laundry if you wanted to. I didn't want to put laundry in this since it wasn't base game with tiny living, so I couldn't put that in. So I've kind of made this so that it's really easy for you to be able to add stuff outside of it, such as more of, um, more craft stuff such as the what are they um the fabricator the juicer the is it the juicer and the candle making station i haven't played around with eco lifestyle that is another pack that i bought um yeah so you can put those outside and of course you can go put a um what is it a Oh, um, some laundry stuff. So right now is basically the main idea now finishing up. Why am I saying so? Okay, there we go. Um, so that took a little while. I think I'm going to be about to play test this because I didn't, I didn't know if it could work or not. It can work. I have play tested it. I the inside, I don't know about the outside, especially with the farm, um, the farm got a little bit messy 
towards the end, especially when I had to go and cheat all the plants to be grown to take the screenshots. Um, you'll see that in the screenshots. I didn't record that because it took quite a while. It would just be boring. So I'm switching in and out of build mode in that. I found that um, shelf and I really liked that shelf. And it took me a little while to find a position for it. Um, but I managed to find the position that's going to be up above the um, the sink, like that. Um, yeah. So now we're just going to be adding some lights above the dining room table, which is basically just to that. I did actually, f this is a working house, apart from it doesn't have a, um, what's it called? A, uh, a computer so if you want to add a computer in it you can just add a laptop um, in it too if you wanted to so we're just going to add some more decor above that shelf um, I did originally want a shelf underneath the window but I couldn't do that because because it was sticking out too much and it didn't really look realistic because the Murphy bed would just hit it um, so I ended up just putting it above now we're going I went into um, debug mode right now and we're just getting some of those like pop figure type ornaments in, in it on onto the shelf um, yeah I'm just looking through to see if I can find any other stuff um, yeah just waiting <laughs> i think we are okay now we're doing the curtains i had a little bit of trouble finding curtains for this i ended up not putting excuse me um i haven't and <laughs> i ended up not putting a lot of curtains here because i couldn't find the right amount of curtains for it because like there was no like short curtains that just will fit those windows so I ended up just putting the curtains at the front and not on the sides um, yeah, here was another attempt to me figuring out seeing that but it looked too blocky um, and yes yeah, so I just got ended up getting rid of those uh, we're gonna add like a hat stand or clothes stand I don't know what it's called in the game um, and some shoes at the front once again, if you had uh, seasons, you could put the, uh, the umbrella stand down there, and I'm sure, and that will make it again. Um, a lot of these ideas I had in my mind, saying oh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this, but I couldn't do it since it was to do with other packs. So right now, I'm just looking for that plant pot which I wanted to use, but I couldn't <laughs> find it, so I just searched for it there. I really like those paintings I just put in the dining room. I really like them for some reason. They're simple, they have nice little um, cartoonish uh, metric shape um, style. So, I don't know, I just ended up, I wanted to do those and I put them there. Um, we're adding a bit, a little bit more storage or fake storage since I don't think they're actually storage. The little cabinet is actually storage to the game. And now we're adding the fences. I really want to have a little like little seating area at the front of the thing. So that's what's just happening there. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the fencing. I ended up like putting a big fence around the edges that didn't end up working, so it looked more like a farm, uh, like an area where you would have horses. So I ended up putting a little fence there. And I played a lot around with um, train tool, train editing, train tool, train paint, train painting, I think it is called. Um, there's a lot of more, I feel like, no, so there's a lot of um, grass around. Now, I feel like it would have fitted more in Strangerville, but I don't have that pack. Um, I don't really want that pack. Excuse me, um, but we, the only reason why I'll probably use it is like play the storyline once, won't really go back there, might build in the world, might use the items. The items are a lot like um, vampires, 
but yeah, we didn't really end up using those. I didn't really use up ending using up vampires. I thought it would be fun to use vampires. Yeah, I got a bit annoyed by them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I had this idea of using an arch there, but um, and I ended up using that wedding arch. I kind of wish I used something different, but I couldn't really find anything different to do a base game with or anything like that. So I just ended up going for that. We've moved it back to fit with the front. So now we are going to go on to the farm area. Um, yeah. So what's happening right now is that I'm just placing down all of the crops and trees. So we're going to be using carrots, apples, um, cherries, um, strawberries, and I think blackberries. I can't really remember. And we're just going to go mix between them both. I was a derp, and I forgot cherries is a tree plant. So they grow on trees. Um, I also wanted to have a cow, a cow plant, so I placed a cow plant out there. So that was a bit of an issue. Oh, and potatoes. And so what I ended up doing is having the, um, uh, the apples and the cherries on the, where the, where the apple plants are, and then the, uh, cherries and apples on the back part, and the, and the side. Um, yeah, so that's what just, that's what I end up doing. Um, I don't know if it's really, you can get all the fruit from, but if you can't, then you can just extend it, it's fine, or you can get some more money off it, because I think, um, there's actually fruit on it, I think from the screenshots, because I, at the time I finished it, it became night time, so I had to sleep throughout the day. Um... So right now what's happening is that we are doing the shed. Um, once again, I didn't want this to be a building. It can be a building. Uh, um, unless it... Uh, it can be a building because then it will add towards the uh, squares. And I need to have 32 squares. So that's why it's kind of open and stuff. You can change it if you want. Like just have it that and not have a tiny home. I guess you can do that. You can also just get rid of it and just make it different. Um, I just ended up with that. I kind of wish it was a bit different. And yeah, it was a bit too big, so that's why I am um, putting the making it smaller. And then I added those columns down because I felt like it needed a bit of a dimension to it because there was a little bit of a gap between the half walls and the full walls. So that's why I added that. Now um, we're adding a little uh, bench at the front and we're just going to be adding a little bit more trees and plants and stuff where that is, I think, right? Uh, yeah, anyway, so that shed, um, I did change the roof and stuff but I didn't record it because it was while I was doing the orchard just to let you know. Um, I, uh, you can basically put lots of other um, stuff. I could only put a woodworking table because it's the only thing I could have done. Um, yeah. Oh well. You can put lots of different things down there too. I really want to have a little like thing above the door and the thing is, is that there was no base game types of stuff there. So I ended up just having to put in that thing. I don't even know what's called of the door. Um, once again, if you want to download it and you have other packs, you can obviously go put something better down there. We're just adding some cactuses down there. So I mix them between cactuses, trees, ferns, and just flowers and grass all around to make it more like someone has kind of made it more of another type of ecosystem, which is basically like an area of plant animals a group of now this is testing me um it's like a group of it's an area defined for species which are animals and plants a new ecosystem is a little area of different tem temperature and, and 
animals and stuff. So basically, biotic and abiotic. If you don't understand what that is, it doesn't matter. But yeah, if you understand, good job. Um, I I like biology, just so you know, which is the reason why I said that. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're just adding some lights around the place. Um, yeah. Uh, we're just lighting it up. Um, yeah. And I just added a little nice little area there too. Add some more greenery. I'm not the best with scenery, so this is like a big stretch for me with scenery because I'm never really that good at it. And now we're just going to add... I decided to add um, grass where the... Uh, dirt is because it kind of looked a bit weird having dirt and then sand next to it so I added just grass and then I added um, dirt around it to make it more um, more dirt like or like more like it's just been dug up basically I, I kind of wish I, I kind of wish it was a bit different yeah there but um, the thing was is that it took a little while and it wasn't a big part since it was going to be covered by plants so it wasn't that important so right now I'm just checking to see if everything looks right if I, I should put a little bit more and stuff um, yeah we're gonna add a night another table down there um, and just some more trees have a look around and then I just looked at the scenery around the lot um, to see if there was any like inspiration I can put to put there and there was some rocks there around with those I don't even know what they're called but those like plants um, and yeah I'm just gonna and we did that at the front as you can well, if, you, if it's a bit fast but anyway um, and yeah so we're gonna go into the screenshots so this is the front um, with the rocks and stuff here's another angle so you can see um, the orchard, here's like the entrance area with the park bench, the orchard garden area with cherries in the trees, here's like the back of it, um, and then here's like the car park with the little shed, and then here's the entrance to the caravan, and then here's the kitchen, um, the living room slash bedroom, I kind of like how it looks to be honest, and then my favourite room which is the dining room, very small, and then the uh, bathroom, and here's the floor plan. So thank you very much guys for watching, I'm Monkey29F, and I hope you have a nice day, goodbye.